Yes, tomatoes or tomatoes, whatever you like. Everybody likes to grow them. And I'm going to give you a short good morning. I'm going to give you a short video about growing these. Uh, I don't. I'm only going to show you what they were like three days ago, uh, and the ups and downs of how to look after them. Uh, I'm no expert on it, but uh, we learn by our lessons usually. And my lesson is, uh, don't overwater them. Uh, I'm also going to discuss uh, Epsom salt and why I think you shouldn't use Epsom salt. Also, I'm going to discuss calcium. Uh, so the video is going to wind back now, and uh, please subscribe. Uh, thank you. Wow, potatoes. Everybody loves to grow tomatoes. Tomatoes or tomatoes. Tomatoes, we call them in Europe. Uh, I've grown them before, but this is the first time in, in a few years since I grow them, so I've made a few mistakes. Uh, everyone makes mistakes in uh, growing tomatoes uh, and tomatoes, <laughs> uh, unless in professional, uh, but even they can have problems as well with, with, with the seeds and different things. Uh, the main thing uh, I encountered was the, the rainy season coming in and then heavy rain coming in and that uh, didn't help with the, the cal calcium uptake from the thing. Uh, from the, the, the main thing is uh, that you have calcium in your, in your soil and you should really put it in before you, you uh, sow it. And if you haven't got your soil tested, uh, you can put in a little bit of calcium, what's it called? Calcium hydrate, hydrated calcium. Sorry, hydrated lime. Uh, I didn't use that because I, I couldn't get it here. I got uh, cracked eggshells and uh, ground them down and put them in there on a dressing to try and save the, these. But uh, I'll, basically, the main problem you get is you get uh, what's called end tip, uh, end tip rot. It's sorry, blossom tip rot. It's because it's on the blo blossom on the blossom end of the tomato. Uh, it goes a bit brown here. Now, I want to get about 20, 20 of fruits, or, or no, not even 20, I think maybe about 15 fruits altogether got it. Uh, they can still get it. This one has it. There are two of them there with it. There's nothing I can do. I can pull, I'll just pull them off because uh, they're not going to. Uh, I'll get them out of it. See it there? Mm -hmm. So. That's uh, the main cause is uh, lack of calcium and then uh, erratic watering, like getting real heavy rain is what, what started on mine. Uh, but uh, this variety here now uh, seems to be doing okay. This is called Diamante F1. Uh, the normal, more Filipino one, this one, normal Filipino is more oblong one. Uh, they got a lot more of it. Uh, now that they're already fruiting, I'm just after giving them a massive haircut. Uh, that allows them to breed, allows the chemicals to spread around from one to the other to ripen them. Uh, when I take the first crop off, I might give them sun. They don't need sun. They don't need sun. They definitely don't need sun to ripen. Anyway, they can. They actually ripen in the dark. Uh, but the, the rest of the plant won't obviously grow then. But uh, this one, now there's one right in there now. Uh, so it's a myth by putting them out in the sun. In, in, actual, in, in fact, as far as I know, too, too hot will, will, slow down, uh, will slow down the, the chemicals that they release, the one that makes them the pigment uh, in them turn red. Uh, so uh, uh, basically all I would do is uh, just keep them in an airy place so the air moves around. Uh, and trim back any other dirty yeah, leaves in it. You're not, you're not trying to grow cabbage, so... Uh, um, Epsom salt. Now, there's a myth. Ha! Finally get round to this one. Uh, like old wives' tales, or old, old husbands' tales, or old gardeners' tales, saying that you get better tomatoes when you have... Uh, when you put Epsom salt. Uh, Epsom salt is what it's called, magnesium sulfate, I think. It was discovered in a town in Epsom. Epsom is actually more famous for its racing, uh, horse racing, but... Um, no, it can do more harm. I'll tell you why it can do more harm. Uh, the, the, the magnesium sulfate can, uh, can uh, curtail the amount of calcium that the plant is taking up, I'll take. 
Uh, it's, a, it's a fine balance between watering, uh, 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 getting the balance right. Make your oh, God, it. It's, it makes your Epsom salt will make your greens greener. Okay, there's no question about that. But it's benefit for tomatoes. Tomatoes? No, there's none, and there's proven to be none. And I, I, as far as I know, the professionals don't use Epsom salt. Uh, but they make sure that their, their calcium is uh, that uh, level is correct in, in their soil before they start doing it, and then they have a, they have the, the automatic watering systems and all that, and we don't have that, and we're testing out here. Uh, we don't have somewhere to cover. At the moment, I do because I'm building a house here, but I will have a greenhouse next year, and uh, so we learn lessons, and I'm learning lessons even though I've grown these plants from when I was a child, but. Uh, hit and miss, but uh, this one is, uh, I'm getting some off them, I'm not getting a huge amount of fruit off them, but as my daughter says, you have little babies here as well. That's the baby one, and here, it's like you, a little baby, you see, hmm? that's the daddy and that's the mommy, okay, I'll take over, uh, that's, uh, that's where the new one is coming, later, the flower just fell off. Yeah, tomorrow, yeah. Little, you can see the little tiny fruit in there, you're correct, yeah. You remember when you were growing your cucumbers, yeah. Okay, say goodbye to everybody. Say goodbye. Bye. 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 Uh, happy growing with them and lay off the Epsom salt, it's a myth. Uh, thank you for watching the video and uh, uh, please subscribe.